Hey guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four going to our seventh year of homeschooling and we like to focus on secular curriculum choices. Today, because I've had so much requests for it, we are gonna take a look at the Discover Science for second grade. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Um, this video is part of a collaboration of secular homeschoolers who are sharing their curriculum uh, choices. I've actually already shared the bulk of that, but I figured I'd hop on and give you a look at Discover Science. Full disclosure, full disclosure, it is not secular, okay? So this is not a secular curriculum, okay? It is neutral. So I just wanna give you that. But huge shout out over to Cassie at Regular Secular Mama for putting this together, getting everybody on board, talking about their curriculum choices because it's fun. Uh, so be sure to go give her channel a check out. I'll have it linked down below. And I will also have the playlist to all of the curriculum choices that everyone is deciding to share in this collaboration uh, right down below. So give everybody a watch and a look and a check out and give them some love. So, okay, so... Timber Doodle used to have included in their kits the building blocks of science. I used it one year and I didn't love it. It was kind of clunky, it was hard, it was a lot of stuff happening. All of the, and we used for second grade, all of like the experiments and things were kind of just really involved and it just, it, I didn't like it for second grade. I just, I really didn't. It was a lot of work. To be honest with you, it was a lot of work. So they just, this year, changed to Discover. And they've also put Discover Social Studies in their non-religious curriculum kits. You guys know Timber Doodle is not secular. Well, neither are these sciences. That I had the opportunity to re review the sixth grade level, which I got really excited about because I got a lot of questions about this piece because it was new to the kits and everybody knows that I love the kits. And so I took that opportunity and I do have that video here and you can watch it. I love the look of it. I love the look of it so much that I had absolutely zero intention of using it and have now bought a second level. However, sometime after that, when I shared the video, I started looking and I had looked before, but it was really, really, really hard to find the curriculum site. It was really hard. Uh, so I finally found it. And sure enough, it says, uh, biblical worldview, not biblical worldview or something, something biblical in reference to the science. So best case scenario, I believe it is neutral. And Timberdoodle even has warnings on their pages about what it does teach, which made me think that it was a little bit safer in our column, but turns out it's not. However, I have yet to see anything other than that statement that leads me to have any kind of pause or gives me any kind of like grief or stress or any of that. And I like the way that the books are set up and I will tell you one why. First of all, it is $117 for the three book set. It is uh, in color, uh, the two student books and the one teacher guide, it's in color. Everything that you do is right in the book and I'm gonna give you a down shot here in just a minute. One of the issues that I did have was that for the life of me, I cannot find a flipping uh, supplies list for the experiments. However, when I said that, uh, Daniela, one of the kind viewers here, went and searched it out, got it from the company, and I now do have them all linked on that sixth grade edition Discover Science video. So if you need the supplies list, like I do, it is linked in PDF format on that video. I will also try to at least include the second grade level here, okay? So I do want to give you a downshot of this, and I do want to give you my honest opinion. And my honest opinion is that for me, I have yet to see anything problematic other than that line on the website. That's how I feel. Uh, you guys know I am probably more loosey-goosey with the term secular than most people. If I feel like it's going to work and I don't feel like it's problematic and it doesn't, you know, mention God or whatever, you know what I mean? And, and my kids know about evolution and my kids know about the Big Bang and my kids know about all of those things because we as a family discuss that and that's how we teach. So I am okay with it if I need to supplement or, or clarify some of that. If it does not 
negate those things, I'm okay with having to add them, if that makes sense. For me, that's my comfort level when it comes to that. If it is not actively going against something I believe, I'm okay if I just add it. And I'm okay with that. And we've struggled over the years to find a good and solid science that we love. My original plan was to use Khan Academy and supplement with Crash Course Biology, which I don't know if we're going to keep Khan Academy in the mix, but we will still be doing the Crash Course Biology in conjunction with this, the videos. They just started a new, um, it's going to be 50 episodes, biology, like intro to biology. So we'll be adding that in keeping that in as a plan, watching it together. And then still we'll do, of course, brain pop and mystery science, my little one. So uh, we'll be, oh, you know what? That was for my big kid. No, nope, that wasn't the plan. Mystery science was for the, the plan for the little one, which we will still have and she, we will still love because she loves, she'll just watch them in on, in on, in on, in. So we will be watching the Crash Course Biology all together as friends. And then she will be doing this and my big kid will be doing the sixth grade version. And then everybody will still be doing brain pop mystery science because they, I mean, it sounds like I'm a crazy person who's like, do the science. No, they watch them for fun. Okay, so they're like, mom, can we watch Miss Yum? Mm, I guess, I guess you could do that if it's time, sure. Uh, you know, if they want to watch something while they're eating breakfast, whatever. Mom, can we watch a brain pop? Mm, I guess I'll let you this time. So, I mean, it could be worse, right? Wait. Okay, so that's the plan. And I know for a fact this year they will be getting hard instruction on the Big Bang and all of that because we are doing the big history project as well. So the first few bits of that are heavy science, which again, they're not going to be lacking in any of this. So I'm not worried about it. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Let's pop down. We'll do a little flip through. Okay, friends, here are our three books. We've got the instructor guide and then A and B. Now in the instructor guide, you have the assessments and the answers. You do not have those in the student books, okay? But it gives you all of the information that you need except for a supplies list. Now it has 11 chapters. It goes through the body, which it'll actually go through the body at the same time as for my sixth grader, which is great. Caring for living things, animal habitats, animals and their needs, plants and their needs, natural resources, which I love. And my daughter is like huge into recycling. Oh my gosh. Um, earths and landforms, planets, forces, which is great because the Wiley Coyote books will go right along with that. Changes in matter, what is matter, and then the study of science is the first one. So this does have 75 lessons, so we're gonna have to get started. And then it explains to you, it goes through all of the ways that the things, the lessons are broken down. Something that I do like is that, at least in the sixth grade version, oh, it gives you different options for different learning styles. And I really, really, really like that. Now let's give you a peek through some of these books. Okay, so let's just pick a lesson here in the middle. Okay, lesson four, here we go. Using science to solve problems. Now, as you can see, it's all in color, which is great. It's got vocabulary, lesson review, what you're gonna be able to do by the end of the lesson, materials needed right here. Okay, so then it's got your reading and your writing, a little more to read and to answer these questions. And I like that you do it all in the book. Okay, so then you're over here and it's giving you the steps of the engineering process, which is nice. It's giving you some practice information and review. Taking a closer look, you're making a catapult with the supplies that it asked you for on the first kind of part of this lesson. And then you're answering more questions here. What show what you know. And so you're circling the answers here. Now, are these the assessments? Let me check. Grade lesson four. Okay, so yes, these are the answers for the show what you know, but there is not an end of chapter assessment in here. So there is not a, an end of chapter assessment in the book. Those are only in the teacher's guides, just so that you know. But as you can see, it's really nice and colorful. Like I said, I haven't seen anything that gives me pause, but I, I just, I really, my heart broke when I saw 
that line on their website. So if they could just not have that, that'd be great. But here we are. So there you go, guys. That is the Discover Science for grade level two. <sighs> guys, for those of you who have asked, I really hope that that helped you make some decisions um, on what you should do or should not do. Again, it is not secular, okay? It's not. Uh, I think it's probably neutral. And like I said, I haven't seen anything that gives me concern, but you do your own research. This is what I've got for you. And I have not found anything anywhere else on any of it. So hopefully it helps some of you. Uh, yeah, that's it guys. I hope that you found it as helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications. Give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at making everyday magic. Be sure to go over and give Cassie some love. Thank her for putting this whole thing together and go watch the playlist. Give everybody some love. It's really fun to see, uh, you know, the different reasonings for different curriculums or how people have chosen things. One of the things that I absolutely love is that when I'm like, oh, I don't like that. And somebody else is like, it's the best thing or they're like the best thing. And I'm like, oh, I didn't care for that. But it gives you kind of a new perspective. And I like that we can all learn and grow from each other based on just things that work for me aren't going to work for other people. And it's nice to see both sides of that. So huge shout out to them. Follow the playlist link, Cassie at Regular Secular Mama. Okay. Discover Science Level 2.